Hey guys, so what language do we speak at the house now we have moved to France? What do you think? So living in the United States and ever since they were in my belly, I spoke to the boys only in French. They have an excellent level of... Voici une mère, maman, voici un papa. Voici le petit déjeuner. Oh, they also have taken French classes at Femme San Diego, the French school that I founded. And um, they even speak together in French. So I'm. So I'm pretty proud of that because I know so many um, families in the San Diego area whose children, sometimes even with two parents that speak French at home, that don't speak. So really stoked about that accomplishment. But now we live in, the, in France and we don't live in the States anymore. What language do you think we speak? So with Justin, with my husband, he's mostly spoken to them in English. So they're used to speaking in English with dad. With me, they're so used to speaking French that obviously that's the language we communicate in. Now we live in France, I want to switch it up. I don't want them getting rusty in English. I don't want them losing English because, yes, they could possibly lose language, uh, lose English to an extent. Um, and I want them to continue developing a rich and broad vocabulary in English and continue with reading, with writing. So we have switched everything to English. So, so far, we've only been here, what, five days I will admit that it's been challenging. For one, because I am so used to speaking to them in French that I naturally revert to speaking to them in French. A lot of language is based on habits. And so whatever habit you've established that you're going to speak to a person in is what language you usually speak to them in. So that's the first part is my own habit. The second one is they're also so used to speaking to me in French. It's more natural for them to speak in French with me and in English with their dad. So I've been trying to be very diligent and mindful of speaking to them in English. So far at day five being here, they still reply to me in French. So I'm kind of bummed about that because I thought it would be a little faster, but I get it. But the good news is that um, we got them phones a few days ago. Not that I want them to have phones, but since they are in middle school and they need to communicate with us, and they're taking the bus to school and whatnot, um, we figured it would be a good idea. We have parental controls and some pretty uh, strict rules around that, but um, it, the good thing is that they are able to text me in English. So while the speaking to me in French is more natural and it's still not happening, but we just got here, so I can't be stressed too quickly. The good thing is that the texting, they are texting me in English. So that's already a start, and then um, we're just switching everything to English. So once we get um, our TV set up and we start watching movies, the movies will be predominantly in um, English. So meaning predominantly as in if they have friends over, then maybe I'll you know make an exception. They can watch a thing in French, but otherwise the family will watch things in English. Podcasts are going to be in English. Bedtime stories will be in English. And but basically, we're going to do as much as we possibly can at the house in English. Now we live in France. And their French obviously won't get rusty. On the contrary, it's probably going to improve even more because we live here. They're going to school in French. They communicate in French to their kids. Everything around them is in French. So that is how we are ensuring that our kids not only maintain English, now we live in France, but um, also that they are continuing to progress in English. So it's now they aren't taking um, French classes at the school at the Flan San Diego because we live in France and that with the time difference, it would make sense anyway. They will be taking English. I'm going to start doing some English with them. I got their um, curriculum from the middle school they were attending in the States. So I'm going to start doing English with them. And hopefully I can manage because, you know, still mom being the teacher. Eh. And then additionally, I'm going to have them read and write um, in English. So every day that they're getting English, they will get English in school, but um, it's not going to be, it's going to be too easy for them. It's not going to be at their level. So the English that they will get 
will be like American, following like an American curriculum. So that's the initial part. And the second part is creating a community of English speakers. I intensively created a community of French speakers so the kids would have friends that spoke French. Now I'm seeking uh, English speaking friends. So we found our first family, which we actually knew them for the last like few years. They're Scottish and they, they kind of go back and forth from being in this area to Scotland. So the boys have a couple kids with who they can communicate to in English when they're here. But um, we shall see, you know, that's the goal is really changing everything up to English and so whatnot.